Okay, so everyone's talking about Rand Paul and how he endorsed Mitt Romney and how this is a heavy blow to libertarianism. I'm not going to sit here and celebrate uh, the backstabbing that Rand Paul did to libertarians because I would much rather gloat about how I fucking told you so. I told you so, libertarians, that the entire Paul family is a bunch of scam artists. This has nothing to do with Rand Paul. Rand Paul never exhibited uh, libertarian qualities, really. He is a blatant conservative, and there is a fine, a, a very fat line between conservatives and libertarians. And libertarians have tolerated him because of his father. But why even bother talking about Rand Paul? I'm gonna fucking talk about Ron Paul because Ron Paul is the biggest scam artist of them all. Rand Paul is just a normal politician. He's doing what it's going to take to win elections. Whereas Ron Paul gives this image of being uh, out of the status quo and some kind of rebellious figure that's working within the system to change it for the better. And he, he's taking you for a ride. He's taking your fucking money and meanwhile you talk about physical responsibility? You're not even responsible enough to not give this guy your fucking money. This guy may as well be Richard the Rapist Booler. Just as Richard the Rapist Booler earned a million dollars on Kickstarter doing nothing, contributing nothing, and just promising more of the same, his shitty webcomic that he updates when he feels like it, Ron Paul does the same shit by campaigning for president. In fact, worse because you don't vote for the president. The Senate, the House floor, they vote for the president. You don't. That, uh, you know, poll you see on your ballot where it says, who do you want to be president? That's what it is. A poll. It's just a public poll that the state representatives and the senators are expected to abide by or else you don't vote for them next time around. I don't know how many fucking times I have to repeat myself about this. Uh, how our system is set up where we're supposed to be enticed to uh, vote the way the people want, or else we do not get represent. We're not. We do not become rep representatives and senators. But it doesn't work that way. People are not that well educated as it is, and even if they were, it would not necessarily grant any kind of leverage to uh, boycott the voting process and uh, disembowel the person that did not vote the way you wanted them to. It, it, it's not that black and white. The fact is, it would still take, take into the consideration the fact that um, the other person that they're running, who's running against them, is still worse despite how they did not keep their promises and vote in the politicians you wanted them to. That's how we got into this mess to begin with, the whole lesser of two evils fiasco. So, the entire point I'm trying to make here is that uh, Ron Paul claims to be a man of the people, free markets, blah, blah, blah. But meanwhile, he's fooling you into giving you uh, your money, and for what? He's been doing this shit since 1988. He's been running for president and failing miserably every single fucking time. And he's already a senator. You do realize that senators do not have term limits, right? He could be the, a senator for the rest of his fucking life. And considering how old he is, that'll probably be the case. And being a senator isn't all that bad. In fact, I would say it's much better to be a senator than a president. Uh, a senator can get a lot more done. If he's so worried about unconstitutional laws being passed and an all-pervasive federal government, then being a senator is a good place for him. Because he's in between the House of Rep Representatives' bad ideas and the president signing or vetoing a bill. As senator, he can vote down bills and then they go back to square one. As president, the only thing he could do is veto the bill. And guess what? If you veto the bill, you probably won't be elected president next time around. So, in fact, he's in a much safer place by being senator. And I'm sure he knows that. But you, the dumbasses that are giving him your money, do not seem to realize that you never voted for the president to begin with. So you're fucking wasting your money. You're wasting your money to give his, to his campaign fund, and uh, it has nothing to do with you. 
It's the fucking politicians that vote in other politicians. I'm not saying that to be a conspiracy theorist. I'm not saying that to say that the system is corrupt. That's the way it was built. And you just don't want to see that. So why are you even contributing? You know, when I was campaigning for... um. Not Mitt Romney, uh, for, uh, god damn it, I can't even remember his name right now. Uh, my point is that it, it's just retarded. You do not give, you don't give politicians your money. It, it's just that simple. When I run for state representative, don't fucking give me your money. I don't want your goddamn money. If I need campaign funds that badly, there should be a law that says that I get campaign from, funds from the taxpayers for that. There is a certain pool of money that uh, every politician gets to use, and that's it. They get an allowance, and they cannot exceed that allowance. They cannot in any way manipulate that allowance. Uh, they get what they get. And then corporations cannot lobby these people to work in accordance to what their wants are. Uh, they cannot use this all-pervasive system of capital to bombard people with propaganda to vote for certain candidates uh, you know they just have to use the tools they're given and make the best argument and that's it and that's the way it should be but you all because you're fucking out of your minds and fucking retarded and love evil will make every excuse for the rich in the world you will never defend the idea that private campaign funds should be abolished completely because you would rather uh, cling to this red scare idea of, oh, my tax dollars are going to slick politicians and politicians are bad therefore this uh, law is bad but meanwhile the laws are bad because private enterprise is behind it private enterprise is giving the money to the bad politicians so private enterprise can continue to be private enterprise you'd be much better off just having a state funded campaign but you're not gonna think that far ahead you'd rather think about your beer and your football and your Jersey Shore and, and army wives or whatever the fuck that show is called that's what you're busy about that's that's your priorities so you know don't fucking tell me about anything don't tell me about Mitt Romney and how terrible he is or Obama and how terrible he is you don't fucking care you don't even bother to educate yourself on how this whole process works Ron, Ron Paul makes me sick but you guys make me even more sick because it is your own willful ignorance that feeds this motherfucker you know the only reason he gets to count his money right now in his bed and just rub his sagging old man boobies all over his fucking money is because of people like you because you're gonna fucking give him your campaign money uh... in 2016 and, and in 2020 and 2024 until he fucking dies of extremely old age and then you fucking wonder why we're in the situation we're in and then you have the nerve to talk about me because you're a communist you don't understand economics well I'm not stupid enough to give my money to a politician I think I have some leverage over you right then and there because there is no excuse in the world for giving a money to a politician we have the internet we can viral market that's what I plan to do when I run for state representative, I'm going to use the internet, presuming I'm not banned from every institution, and pamphlet making, and take to the streets. And that's it. Because I'd be running for state representative. I don't need the whole fucking world to know me, just my state. So, why do I need your money? Why do, why do any of them need your money? You don't have that much money to begin with. I think you'd be much, much more... Uh, conservative with your money if you were going to be conservative on anything so don't, don't give me your excuses I don't want to hear it I know you're full of shit everything that comes out of your mouth is shit because uh, you know if I was even half as evil as these fucking scumbags are like Richard the Rapist Buhler who ran that Kickstarter shit and earned a million dollars doing that and what did he give in return nothing he's doing the same shit he always did 
writing a crappy webcomic that he updates when he feels like it. That's not giving back to the people. But because they're dumbasses too, now he's a million dollars richer. And, uh, you know, you're all a million dollars poorer. So if I was even half as evil as these guys, I'd be doing the same goddamn thing. When I run for state representative, I'd be telling you, oh, give me your campaign funds. Give me your fucking money so that we can change this country for the better. And you would believe it. And you would fucking give me your money. And whether or not I win or lose, I'm richer for it. And laughing at you behind your backs or in front of your face. It wouldn't matter at that point because I have fucking money. So, but I'm not like that because I have principles. I am a good guy. And that's why it disgusts me so much to look at you. Everything about you makes me want to puke. You make me want to vomit. And I got other shit to do, so maybe I'll make another video about this later. But I just cannot believe that, you know, everyone has a bur spur up their ass against me, against my videos and what I do because of my opinions. But I'm not taking your money. I'm not lying to you. I'm not trying to get you to agree to something that would only benefit me and screw you over. I'm not trying to pull one over on you. I'm not c trying to control your opinion. But yet, Jim Prophet's the one that needs to be banned everywhere. Because he's just so mean and so offensive and so hateful. Ugh. You know, you all deserve what you get. If there is a God, he will condemn you to hell. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. You will go to hell if there is a hell. So think about that.